hello friends welcome back to the channel and today in this video we will study the sum of products in boolean algebra now before going ahead in this video i would suggest you to watch the previous video of this channel that was on mean terms and max terms through table in that video we talked about the difference between mean terms and max terms and then constructed the truth table for two three and four variables so that concept will help you in understanding the sum of product very easily. So let's begin with the sum of product. Any boolean function can be expressed in standard or canonical form. Let's say you have a boolean function and you want to express it in standard or canonical form. Then it can be done using these two methods that is either by sum of product or by the method of product of sum. So in this video we will study the sum of product. Now let's see a few basic important points related to sum of product before we see the actual example of it. First of all, ending operation on independent variables is done and then oring operation is performed. By ending, as we know from the basics of boolean algebra, ending is for product and the oring operation means sum is to be taken. So first ending of the independent variables is done that is product of independent variables is taken and then oring is performed that is then the sum is taken. Also each term in the expression is, the, is known as the fundamental product or mean term and this mean term is represented by small m with the subscript i. For SOP we have to deal with mean terms. The third point is number of possible mean terms in boolean expression formed with n independent variables are given by 2 raised to n. So I have explained this already in that video only. That is if my number of variables are equal to 2 then the number of possible outcomes is equal to 2 raised to 2 that is 4. If number of variables equal to 3 then the number of possible outcomes equals to 2 raised to 3 that is 8 and so on. So let's see one example of sum of product. Let's take an equation of two variables. Also one important point is in this form we have the uncomplemented variable as 1 and we take the complemented one to be 0. So let's say I have the expression y is equal to a bar b bar plus a bar b plus a b bar plus a b. Now see the first statement. First ending of independent variables in, is done and then oring is performed. Now see the equation y is equal to a bar b bar plus a bar b plus a b bar plus a b. This is in product. Product. Product and product and we are taking this sum of the products and thus the name sum of products or SOP understood so in this way you can recognize the equation whether it is of SOP form or POS form ok moving ahead we said for complemented we have the value 0 and for uncomplemented we have the value 1 now go to the truth table and write down the values so 0 0 a complemented so 0 b for b write 1 then 1 0 and 1 1 we know 0 0 is m 0 0 1 is m 1 1 0 is m 2 and 1 1 is m 3 that is the corresponding notations for mean terms so this can be written as sum of m 0 m 1 m2 and m3 this can also be represented as sum of mi or you can write y to be equal to sum of 0 1 2 and 3 so in this way the sum of the product equation is solved now we will see one more example we have an equation of three variables that is y is equal to abc plus a bar b into c plus a bar b bar c plus a b bar c plus a b bar c bar 
again these are product 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 and we are taking sum of them so it is of the form SOP that is sum of products then we have for uncomplemented 1 and for complemented 0 so 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 0 1 plus 1 0 1 plus 1 0 0 so the corresponding notations for mean term for these values is m7 m3 m1 m5 and m4 since 1 1 1 is for m7 0 1 1 is for m3 0 0 1 is m1 1 0 1 is m5 1 0 0 is m4 this can be written as sum of write down in order so 1 3 4 5 and then 7 3 4 5 7 this can also be written as sum of mi or y is equal to summation of 1 3 4 5 7 this was a short video explaining the concept of sum of products in boolean algebra i hope you understood the concept thank you so much for watching till the end